Welcome to 2019, uh, question A2. It's a conics question. So the image below shows the AOL building in Dublin. The curve is a hyperbola. So here's our building and our curve being a hyperbola. The drawing on the right shows the axis AA. So here's our axis. The directrix D, D1. The focus and the line of eccentricity for a similar hyperbola. A number of points of the curve have already been given. Locate the vertex and four, sorry, the vertex, which we still haven't got, five additional points in the curve and draw the top portion of the hyperbola. So our line of eccentricity given to us, kind of making life quite easy for us, and they're even showing us the construction to determine points on the curve. So set off by let's find our vertex. So as with all conics, let's find the vertex. 45 degree angle, 45 degree angle there, onto our line of eccentricity, and drop a line straight down then onto our axis, and that is our vertex V. Five additional points in the curve of the drawing, so we've got one, two, three, now we're going to need to find two more points in here. So I'll randomly draw two more ordinates. So, well, we can see here um, that they've already located points here, and I'm going to drop down my ordinates. Okay, so what we've done is, this is our lattice rectum running up from our vertex, or from our focus, and to locate points, we set our compass to that distance. On, our, uh, on the length of our ordinate stepped across and that we rotate down from our focal point. So we're going to repeat that for these points that were given to us. It's one, we only need to do the top half of this uh, hyperbola so we don't need to transfer it down to the bottom half. And then, so we've, got, so we've got one, two, three points there and now we need to find the two points inside, so we need to project those back onto my uh, lattice rectum. And where my lattice rectum, where those points hit the lattice rectum, I'll rotate back onto the ordinate. Okay, so two more points, one and two. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five points. Five points dealt with, my vertex is dealt with, now we need to draw our curve. So drawing a curve, we never look at the point of the pencil, we look at the point we're travelling to all the time. That will allow us to get a nice gradual curve down into my vertex. Okay, so top portion of the hyperbola drawn. Then draw a circle which shall be tangential to the directrix. So tangential to the directrix. So sitting here touching off the directrix at one point, and also tangential to the hyperbola at point P. So tangential here, so touching off of point P as well. Okay, so at point P, that's my line of eccentricity, okay, which is a tangent, okay, because, above, because point P is a point directly above the focus. Okay, if it was a point P out here, I would need to find the tangent to point P first. Okay, because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bisect the angle created between my tangential line and my directrix. Okay, so bisect this line. Not bisect this angle, sorry. Okay, so it's first bit. Now, any circle I draw out along here, okay, if you imagine any circle, if I set it to that radius, if I drew a circle, it will be tangential to the directrix and to that tangent. Okay, but we're dealing with point P we want to be, we want it to touch off of. So, we need to use sliding set squares. And we go at 90 degrees from point P because that will create a normal. So 
the back, strong point P. Okay, that then is going to be the center of that circle, and the radius is going to be the distance from that center to point P on a swing arc. Made it too large there. On a swing arc, it is touching off of the directrix at one point and my point P at one point. So it's tangential to both of those points. Okay, so that is question, uh, my comics question on 2019 section A.